Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner. Welcome to your five o'clock, Friday at five, I think it's Friday at five. Welcome to your Friday at five craft tutorial. All right, I'm going to refresh my computer and see if any friends are here. Um, so I know it's Memorial Day weekend and some people like to get away and gather with family and friends. That's super fun. Um, oh, there I am. It's working just fine. Um, we're keeping things really low key. We don't have any plans. I actually had to um, teach a yoga class this morning. So this project is not as far along as I wanted it to be. I wanted to have options and different papers. So you know what, but we're gonna explore it together because when you see this, you're gonna be very excited. I know you are. So it's Friday, May 28th, 2021. So if you find this video now, anything to do with classes or specials um, is only valid around that time. But this project, you're gonna wanna make this like all the time. Um, it's really cute. I wish I would made it up myself, but I will share the name of the lady who made it up because I want you to go look at her blog and see what she did with the peach paper with this project. That's, it's absolutely beautiful, super beautiful. But anyway, hey Lisa, all right, we got a couple friends here. So I am gonna start, uh, let's go down here. Um, first up, just to give you, oh, last couple days, now that I made everything crooked, last couple days for our Join Plus promotion. So if anybody wants to join my Stampin' Team, let me know. I can help you figure out what to get for free. Uh, paper pumpkin wise, um, expressions in color. I'm very excited about this kit. This kit, you have to subscribe by June 10th and then they'll start sending them, which speaking of paper pumpkin, I'm gonna do, I think it's gonna usually be the last Thursday of the month. Um, we did a little virtual paper pumpkin craft night last night and I had a couple friends show up and it was super fun. I met um, some new people. Hey Don, hey Kathy. Um, and an, a, another crafter that normally crafts with me. And if you're a demo, it's fine. If you're a customer, it's fine. There is no pressure. If you don't have a paper pumpkin kit, you can craft whatever you want. So we just crafted and chatted and it was very fun. Um, so I'm gonna keep that on this schedule because I think it would be uh, fun to do that. But if you want next month's kit, you need to subscribe by the 10th. Okay, so that's enough of that stuff. I don't know, there's probably more things. Oh, the strawberry punch is back in stock. Strawberry punch, strawberry punch. Uh, where's my strawberry punch? So it has been, whoa, it has been out of stock forever. The strawberry punch, okay? It makes strawberries and leaves and the cutest little flower and the little topper to the berry. Um, it is back in stock. So if you wanna get this bundle, I would order it now. Um, so anyway, it's a super cute punch and I think it's a great one to have. All right, but this is what we're gonna make. Cause I wanted, I did cards um, Monday and Wednesday and I so I wanna do something 3D and I could've, I could have wimped out and made a cute little box, which is not wimping out totally, but much easier than what I decided to do. I saw a demonstrator. Ooh, sorry, I'm throwing things around. I'm trying to get her name. It was called Katie Drew Card. She's from the UK, and she challenged herself to make something that wasn't a card. And she used, I love these tag dies, my friends. But look at this. It is a little holder. And okay, this is my problem. I only had time to make two tags. Um, but you could fill it with tags. And if you do craft shows or like to give early holiday gifts, um, this would be really, really fun. Now hers had nothing to do with Christmas at all. I just couldn't resist. I wanted to use this paper. Um, hers is so, so pretty. So go look up Katie Drew cards. Although I did find one measurement. Um, I think she had wrong and I tweaked a little something else, but we're going to make this folder. And I'm going to talk about the tag dies. I mean, look at this. Aren't these adorable? I mean, who? And then you would write the who to and from. And she showed how she used them. So she made like all occasion tag dies using the peach set. Um, she likes to wrap her presents, which is funny. I like to do this too, in the brown craft paper. And then she just adds a pretty bow and a really cute tag. So I may be doing that this Christmas. Look at this one. Aren't these adorable? So this is our new, um, <laughs> Kathy, oh my gosh, that just made me so happy. Kathy put the wow emoji head, and when you only put the emoji, it's like real big on the, <laughs> it's so cute. But I was like, these tags, and see, I don't know if I would have thought to layer them up like this, um, but her tags are beautiful. Oh, they're so pretty. 
so anyway, I started having fun. See, I don't even know how to teach this to you because I'm just too excited and I didn't have time. Um, let me show you the tag dies. Hold on, I have the tag dies. Okay, I've used these before a little bit. Um, there are four of each design. And then these cut out three. Oh, that's why I didn't have four. You're going to laugh. Okay, so I started putting the Sahara sand in, this, in the inside. And then I'm like, I couldn't find the fourth one. So I went ahead and did the white ones on the outside. Because I just cut a whole bunch. I took a bunch of paper left from cutting out to make this folder. And then paper just lying around of these colors. And I made it. And that's why there's only three of these. Well, no wonder I couldn't find the fourth one. So, I mean, this is a real, it's kind of like that card folio I made, although hers is a little more, I feel it's a little stronger than mine, so I might change up my card folio. I am going to do that card folio as a class in July that we made, um, but these tags are so cute. So, if you wanted to make all season tags, um, let me see if I have that peach set. It was so good because the, yeah, I do. These greetings are perfect. Let's celebrate you. Thanks. Um, it's your day to a sweet friend. Hello. Happy. Like these were perfect for fitting on the little tags. It was, oh, you guys are going to have to go look at her thing. I, I, don't, I don't know. I may have to copy her exactly. But anyhow, I was excited about the Christmas idea. So I'm going to show you in general how to make some tags and how to make this cute little folder. And you guys are going to help me pick the paper for the front. Okay. So tags go over here. Let's put this one in here. But so imagine it filled with, I think you could put probably four on each side, I think. So um, I don't know. I just think it's so cute. And it looks cute with the little bits hanging out. And you can use ribbon. You can use twine. And of course, when we get the holiday catalog, you could run with this idea for holidays. But I like the idea of the all occasion one. That way you just have them ready for you. Because how many people are like me, you need to give a quick gift and then you have this idea and you're rushing around trying to make it. So I am going to make an all occasion one um, also. But we're going to make a holiday one now. So this paper is called Tidings of Christmas. It is a six by six paper. This is a great size paper. Sometimes with six by six, um, I struggle with how to use it in a class or for myself. This is a great project. Ooh. I don't, oh, that is part of our project. So what I need, and I want to show you now so you can vote in the comments. Hold on. These pieces go here. Let me show you the prints, and you guys are going to pick what DSP we're going to use. So our folder is going to be Sahara Sand, and then our inside pockets are going to be Soft Succulent. Our tags on the front are going to be Evening Evergreen. Okay, so that's our color scheme. It doesn't mean we can't make red. So now how are you going to vote? I don't know. You're going to have to say, I like this Sahara Sand one. So we have um, white with green. We have Sahara Sand with that. We have the stripy red. What's on the back? I love this paper. The one with the trees. We have, you know what? I guess I'll make sure we can see one. So I think we can't go wrong. I think we can use any of these. Okay, what else do we have? I like this one. This is pretty. So Sahara Sand will be our base. Ooh, that one's pretty. Ooh, what about these stripes? That is nice. What's on the back of the stripes? Ooh, just a nice red. Um, there's the small one. There's the herringbone. And then that's the one I already used. So go ahead and describe it the best you can in the comments and tell me which color of DSP we should use, okay? And then we'll, we'll cut that together. All right, but I do have to move them so I can work here. Okay. So, actually, while we're talking about tags, let's die cuts. I didn't even have time. I had to go pick up some medicine for my dog. Um, so I was like, we can cut out a tag together. I'm not going to stress about it. We're going to just be super chill. It's a Friday. All right. I know, Trisha, isn't it lovely? It's so, it's such a cute project. This makes me envious that I did not make this project up on my own. But I think I could run with it. I think you could run with it. All right, so we need two tags of the biggest one. And I've got the little, whatever, when little things get stuck in there, when you die cut out a whole bunch. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so the 
tag dies will fit in the mini boss or the big boss. So the big boss was great. I'm not going to use it because it's over on my counter. Um, in that I just took bunches of pieces of paper. I put as many tag dies on there as I could. And then I cut them out. Oh, the first one's always hard to get in. I should do it the reverse way. Okay, so there's that one. Ooh, Lisa says green stripes. Oh, look at that. All right, Terry, I see you talking. The, I'm telling you, the um, all-occasion gift tags, you just look at all your stamps. You know, we're going to do this. So here's a tip on dies. When it has a very big straight, like even in your big die cutting machine, you wouldn't want this to go straight through. And in the little one, you saw how it was real hard. If I do this side, see how there's a little less? It'll work. Also, if you put it slightly at an angle, and if you have your bigger die cutting machine, you can totally put it slightly more in an angle. Because if you um, understand how it works, it's just a pressure wheel. And so what you don't want is like a big bit of metal going right through that pressure wheel. Oh, I don't know. This project, I've been thinking about it all week and I was trying to decide how I was going to make it and should I do the same thing she did? But I was like, well, hers is great. I could do that later. And then I was like, hello, Christmas tags. Oh, look at that. And see, one time through your die cutting machine, it's got stitches around the edges. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Does anyone ever, when you say the word stitches, <laughs> you're like, snitches get stitches. <laughs> it sticks in my head. Okay. Do we need this? No. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, and let's actually put our die. You're going to laugh when I was also getting ready. I could not find this die, and it had gotten buried in here when I was cutting all of these out, and I was like, I know that there's another one, um, but anyway, I found it. Okay, so, all right, I got, we're going to use the green stripes, because that's the last thing we need to cut, and we might only need one piece. We'll have to see. We might change what's in the inside. Okay, where did my project go? So on her measurements, I don't know what. Um, she had like four and three fourth, and that was not enough. This is four, five and a quarter. So I don't know if it was an error or if I did something wrong, but I'm going to tell you what size worked for me. <laughs> okay, so all right, let's get ourselves organized here. I know I can be organized. I know I can do this. Okay, so this piece is five by five and a half. This is gonna make your folder, okay? Five by five and a half. You need to score either with your trimmer or your scoreboard, whatever you like to use. On the five and a half, <laughs> I gotta double check or I don't wanna do it wrong. On the, ha, okay, so you want the short side on the five inch side okay now we are going to score this and i will um it probably won't be till late tonight or sometime this weekend i usually come back to the youtube video or the post on facebook and i put the measurements in okay because i am not prepared enough to have them typed up already so score at two and a quarter and three and a quarter that is not the right side what? Oh my goodness. Where is my brain today? Let's see. Yeah, I almost told you the wrong thing. Scored on the five and a half. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Because what we need is that, that binding in the middle. So this is why you have to look back at the directions later. The measurements. Two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I will write that. I will say five and a half by five. Score long side at two and a quarter and three and a quarter. That is how I write it. And I think it makes it really clear. I don't think hers was super clear in that. So... Um, but just you got to look at her pictures. Okay, so that is scored. Now, these two pieces are going to make our cute little box pockets. And on the long side, we are going to score. Oh, and how long is this? This is five and a half by three and a half. Okay, and don't worry, I will post that later. A lot of times I get it written out for you on a post it note. It did not happen today. Um, although I did, I did get a chai tea latte on the way home, and I'm almost done with it. Oh, that's so good. Okay. We are going to score at one and a quarter. Okay. And then one and three fourths. So really, you know, it's a half inch over, one and three fourths. Then at three and three fourths, because we need two inches, 
that's the width of our pockets. And then four and a quarter. That was gonna be my guess. And then we are gonna turn this on the short side and we are gonna score it at two and two and a half. And then we are gonna do that again and not mess it up. <laughs> All right, we are gonna score at one and a quarter, at one and three fourths, at three and three fourths, at four and a quarter. Oh, I'm doing good, now I probably jinxed it, but let's see. And then at two and two and a half. Okay, and then we're gonna bring our tags in. There was a reason I cut the tags early. Okay, because we're gonna score them. Now you don't have to use the tags. You could do just like a belly band, but I think she was so clever that it just brings the whole idea that it's tags in. Um, so very clever. Okay, and so then the tag, you want the small score is gonna go at the top. So we are gonna score the tag at one and then three and three eighths. So one, two, three. See, so it's that little bit. And we do the same thing. So at one and three and one, two, three eighths. Okay. <laughs> I saw you, Terry. So yes, yeah, scoring. You can use this or your trimmer. Either one, if you have um, a Stampin' Up! trimmer, it will score also. Um, I just like when I'm doing a lot, I like, I like the way the scoreboard feels. It's a little more heavy duty. And then we are gonna burnish our little tag. Okay. And we are actually gonna glue our little tags together. Now you could, you could add DSP to that, couldn't you? Yes, you could. Um, but I kind of like that. But you know what? No, I'm going to leave it blank. But you could. I do think you could add it. But then you'd have to decide about the spine. Do you add it or not? But I think just a piece, a quarter inch smaller on the front and the back would be very cute. Okay, so we're going to glue this together. You can use your Stampin' Steel Plus. You could use tear tape. But you know I'm just going to use glue. On this it's just easier gotta learn to love your glue do you remember when you were a kid and you made everything with like uh, notebook paper uh, what's that construction paper that stuff was not very well colored and um, scotch tape and glue <laughs> I made many a many a folio back in the day uh, I made lots of fun stuff okay we're gonna let that sit then this one so this is this one's easy we are gonna put our paper on here and we are gonna cut it so now I'm gonna bring in my trimmer hold on I'm trying to build new habits of putting things away but it doesn't always work <laughs> okay so then this is gonna be five and a quarter by two and we need two of those so I'm just gonna hmm don't want my stripes to go the long way I think I want them to go this way, horizontally. So I cut it five and a quarter this way. All right, so I'm gonna cut that to five and a quarter. That's the score one, okay. And then actually, yeah, no, this will work. And then I'm just gonna go this way to two. And we need two of those. And then we need two for the, um, the spine, and those are three-fourths. So go to three-fourths. And so what's cool is you get most of this out of one, look at that, one piece of six by six DSP. I'm always excited about things like that. Now you could totally change it up and have the spine in the inside be a different color um, or have the outside one. And then, now this is what I added. She did not put DSP here. I think it looks really pretty to have that there. And these are one and three fourths by one and three fourths. So they could be the same stripe or let me see. I had a couple miss, uh, miss uh, cuts earlier in the making of this. So I think I'm gonna make it. What's on the back? Ooh, I'm gonna, we're gonna go like all, I'm gonna use this. One and three fourths. Ooh, did I mess it up? Okay by one and three fourths. This is gonna be a 
classy one. Uh, okay. All right. So that's going to be on the inside of my pockets. And then I think that's it. If not, we will fix whatever it is. Okay, so let's put, oh, I obviously did not cut that correctly, did I? Look at that. Oh, why do I have such a big shadow? Look at that. What in the world? All right, so apparently we are going to cut some more. Uh, hold on. Let me get a ruler. I'm telling you guys, you can make something an hour ago and it comes out just fine. So apparently, that's why she said four and three fourths. You guys are gonna totally laugh. I made, so you can make it either way, apparently. Do I need to recut this? I am trying to decide. It's just gonna be shorter. All right, so I made this one wrong compared to the lady. It should be like this, but it fits. Oh my goodness, I am a professional. I just want y'all to know. Yeah, okay, well, so you could make one short and one small. Apparently, it all works out fine. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Yeah, you can go to the beginning. Um, although, <laughs> oh, every once in a while on one of these live videos, I'm like, should I post this to YouTube later? Is this going to be helpful? But in the end, it is. But uh, yeah, so now I know why she said to do it at four and three fourths because I scored it the wrong way. But it worked. It made a really cute case. All right, so we're gonna try that one. Okay, let's try this again. So we are gonna attach our paper with a stamp and seal. Ooh, that red is really pretty. It's like I can hardly contain my excitement over Christmas stuff, which is totally wrong. I should totally be enjoying the summer stuff because I do like summer and I like all that stuff. All right, so making sure. And I, oh my goodness, I'm telling you, I had really good videos with great lighting and then something has changed and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I feel like I'm putting my lights in the same place but apparently, and I think I've said apparently like 20,000 times tonight. That is, a, that is apparently my filler. <laughs> and then we're gonna put that down. And then we're gonna put one of these. Ooh, I'm gonna put the red side up. Let me change that up. Okay, and this goes on the front. Ooh, I like it. Look at that. That is very cute. Okay, let me show you how to make this part. So we're going to cut first. <laughs> ah, what are we going to cut? We are going to cut these squares off. And this is, I do like the way she did this little box. I wouldn't have made it so robust. The way I usually do it a little bit different, but when I do someone else's thing, unless I see something I want to change right away, I like to kind of follow their guidelines the first time, and then sometimes I will go and change it. Okay, so let me, once I cut this, I'm going to show it to you so you'll get it. Okay, so when you look at it the long way, this is a tab that's going to fold under, and then you have these all small tabs. Then... To make it a little bit easier, I think we can notch these. Good, okay, and then we'll notch that one. And we can add our little piece of DSP at the end, because um, it's, it's just a small piece, it's easy to get it on. You could also, you know, we could just put it on right now. Look how cute that is. Yeah, I like that side. All right, so let's put this on. Okay, now let's make this a box. So we're gonna burnish. 
Hi, Deb. Welcome. Oh, good. We got a nice little crowd here tonight. I was wondering. I was like, oh, if everybody's doing something or going out of town, nobody's going to be here. Although, I guess if you're in the car and you're not driving, you could be like, oh, I'm going to watch this crazy lady on Facebook. Put your earbuds in. Nope. Let's do that one. I'm going to do the bottoms. Okay. Now this makes a super cute, I like the little piece in. So you just fold it all up and this comes around the back. Ooh, and I need to cut those down, hold on. I did not, uh, did not notch those edges. Okay, so to glue, all I did, I just glued this part and then this part, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. And the hard, the hardest part is keeping it square. I found with this style box that it was a little tricky to keep it square. So, there we go. So see how I laid it down and I'm not pushing them in and I can push it from the back. You don't really have to glue the bottom because we're gonna glue this whole little flap around. Ooh, ooh, I got a little crooked. Okay, and then we are gonna glue this. So I'm gonna put glue here and glue here. And then I'm gonna bring it all up and put that on. Get it, there we go. And then we've got this cute little box and it's gonna glue on right there. Oh, and I forgot that little piece. We're gonna put that piece in real quick. And then we'll make the second one. Because I did not do uh, TV magic and have the second one ready. We had paper last year that had Sahara sand and um, this is cherry cobbler. It's a really nice, this color scheme is very nice, which is probably why Stampin' Up! used it again. Although I guess these greens are new because this is soft succulent, which is our new in color. And then this is evening evergreen, which is our new in color. Okay, and then I'll cut these. Yeah, so let's notch them all and then we'll burnish them all. So I've started cutting and then burnishing and then sometimes I burnish and then cut. I don't know that I figured out which one I truly like the best. So that's always a fun question. Of course, some people are like, what do those words mean? So of course, cutting, you got that. And then burnishing is just when we use our bone folder to make the folds stronger and crisper. So that's called burnishing. You get to learn. I know burnishing is in other crafts too, like with metal maybe, I don't know. It's in other things, but this is what we mean with paper crafting. Okay. And we do them all. You can just do them with your hands too, but sometimes you just get that crisper edge. Okay, and then let's double, I, and you're gonna laugh. Well, no, you shouldn't laugh because you've seen me craft before. So always double check before you pull out the glue. Okay, I think it'll work. So let's put some glue here. And then we will bring this in. And we will try our best to get it square. And then we will attach this on and then we will make one little tag together so you can kind of see ideas of how to do it. Although I have limited small greeting Christmas stamps right now because a bunch of them are tired. But that just tells me they're gonna put a bunch of really awesome ones in the holiday catalog, of which I don't have. Oh, one of these years I am gonna earn that incentive trip and you guys are never gonna hear the end of it because I'm gonna be so excited. They're going to be like, could she stop talking about it? Well, actually, you probably want me to stop talking about not earning it. 
and look at that I did not put the paper on that one super funny so let's do that let's put it on what am, now what's everything's sticking all right what in the world it was just working and now I'm always like there we go I'm like stamping up I think adhesives are <laughs> are just sticky all around it's hard to make the perfect adhesive okay and this is gonna carefully go on here you could do two layers like you could have done this is um, one and three-fourths by one and three-fourths you could totally do like a cherry cobbler layer wouldn't that be pretty right behind that just an eighth of an inch um, or really it'd be 16 so an eighth of an inch what is this one and three-fourths it would be one and seven eighths it would be very very cute okay and now we're gonna stick these on down here so either use your tear tape or use your liquid glue again okay and then this goes on we've been here a half hour together well I started a couple minutes late but how time flies when you're having fun so we're gonna put this on And stick that on give it a moment and you can also take your bone folder and stick it in there I'm telling you it's just like having extra fingers is what bone folders are for oh we need glue one more time okay and then this is gonna come oh that's so cute Lisa excellent choice on the stripey green and you like how I changed that I like that red little hint of red you could could you put DSP on this first yes you could and then put this on top I think that would be totally fine but I think the general idea is you don't really need to because um, all your super cute tags are gonna be in there so that DSP would kind of you know get lost you wouldn't notice it very much so you could all right so the ribbon the ribbon what color you know we'll just use the soft succulent or do is is there a cherry cobbler I don't think we have cherry cobbler sorry I know I'm mostly talking to myself but let me see if we have cherry cobbler ribbon nope those are all real red all right so ooh, although I think that's retired all right I don't mind using retired ribbon I'm just checking out my colors nope I see some Mary all right lots of real red but so we'll just use the soft succulent because that will go nicely I could do the dark green too but I think I like having it be a different color so you can see it on the um, thing okay in the ladies thing I saw her bring this like you could see the ribbon here but I don't understand why because to me then when you close it you've got like that bump of ribbon inside so I mean yeah it looks cute when it's open but I decided that wasn't necessary and did I glue oh I didn't glue that on yet okay so we're gonna glue that on so you want to decide um, so in her she had it glued so that the ribbon would come across here so it was on this low side which I actually like so we're gonna do something about that okay so I just attached this part and I left the other tags free floating because I think that makes it easy for the opening and closing and since I have stripey paper oh but those stripes aren't straight let's hope I'm getting that on there straight I've committed <laughs> I have committed all right let me let me drink a drink here If I was a big wine drinker, I would be drinking wine right now. It's been a good day. It's just been a busy day. Okay, so then let me show you the ribbon. It's going to come, so I made it come through, and when you tie the bow, I really like this ribbon. This ribbon is great for this. Then the bow is kind of inside, so I'm going to see if I could do that differently. What if the ribbon went around... Maybe that's why she did it. I don't know. I guess the bow's going to be inside. I'm not sure. Because she must have done. And hers was not a video. She just had a really nice uh, picture tutorial. So she had her ribbon come across. Hmm. Hold on. i got to do it from the other side. No, I can't. I can't do it without cutting it. Dang it. <laughs> 
All right, I'm just going to do it the way I did, and we can explore alternative ribbon techniques later. So this is what I did. I was like easy peasy, lemon squeezy, just go around the bin and put, oh, I forgot the little extra bits. Okay, we'll do this. Let me cut this first, and then we'll do them. And I will give you some tips on the tag things, the little um, reinforcers. Did anybody ever used to get those with your um, three ring paper? You got those little circles that you stuck on to help like, you know, if the um, the ring tore. Oh, we're so old that we know this stuff. Okay, I think that's good. Let's tie it in a bow and then we'll trim it. And then I should actually write down how much it is so that way we'll know. If you're gonna do the ribbon this way, it's still very cute. You could add something to the front. Oh, totally. Um, I can't do it right now, but like you could add a star or whatever. Oh, a Christmas stocking. I don't have the dies out, but let me show you. Look, add one of these little stockings. Stamp it, die cut it, put it on the top. That is super cute. Okay, I'll do that part later. So tomorrow I'll have a picture up of this. Okay, so let's take the ribbon out for a second. All right, so as I was telling you, let's see. These dies, you can cut these little, ooh, I'm gonna do the red. Do I have two red ones? Oh, let's see. Otherwise we might have to, oh, I do. Okay, so my tip on these, I just die cut them out of the, the paper because that was easiest, but they're very fiddly and you have to glue them on. I think if you did, if you knew you were making this project and you wanted to take your time, um, I would use the adhesive sheets. I know I say adhesive sheets all the time, but they really do help. Otherwise, do you see the teeny tiny bits of glue I put on there? And then you put this on. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so cute. And so then, all of the glue makes it easy to slide it around and make sure you got it in the right spot. Okay, now let's put this one on. There is a up and there is a down. Okay, where, do I have tweezers? Yeah, I'm totally gonna die cut and put a Christmas stocking on this tomorrow. Well, hmm, maybe tonight, after dinner. Did it, it hasn't stormed yet, so that's good, but. So those, and you don't have to use these all the time, um, but it, in this case, it definitely adds a little bit of an element. See, a little element of interest. Okay, and then you could put some on the inside. I'm not gonna do that right now because now you know how to put those on. But let's make one tag together and then I'll send you on your way. So, as I said, you can just take a bunch of paper that coordinates. So I did some of the DSP, I did some of the um, matching colors. You know what, I haven't made a tag with this design. Let's do that. Um, let's see if I got enough. That's the same, okay. So all I did was lay it out. Ooh, that's the same. Okay, so this is the next size. And then, ooh, that's kind of pretty. And so you just want to lay it out. All right, this one goes with that. And I do like the whole idea of having three. So if you can get three, I don't know if I have three that are going to work. I'm going to see. Because um, I, I really did it randomly. Now I know to like pay more attention. Oh, look at that. That was apparently something else on the back. Okay. This I did um, soft sea foam because that was in the paper too. And then I'm going to put this. So you could do some with DSP, you could do some without DSP. Let's see, ooh, like this, stripey. And you just have a grand old time making them up, okay? Look at that. And okay, I think that's good. Although, I'm not, to ooh, let's do this. I was like, I'm not totally sold on the solid red there. Okay, so then if you want, add the little circle, but just on the top one. You don't have to do it to all of them. I don't think it's gonna fall apart. I mean, you're not gonna pull that tag. Um, what, you're probably like, where did you get those super cute trees? 
okay? I got them from a Stampin' Up box, <laughs> which came with this tree punch. So I wanna show you this, and we are gonna make, we're gonna make this one, okay? And I'm telling you, you should just, like, one day you're watching TV, just cut out a bunch of dies not dies, whatever, tags from the dies. Okay, so you can get a big, long row of trees and you can decide where you wanna put them. This does not have to swing free. I can attach that to that. I think that looks very cute like that. So, what is that? Three trees, we're gonna cut them off. But let me show you how this punch works in case you haven't seen or done a border punch. And again, Maybe I'll do these with white. Okay, so you're gonna laugh. Like always, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. All right, so this is a piece of paper two inches. I'm pretty sure you could do a little less. You wanna slide it in, and in this case, you don't wanna flip it over like I normally do with punches. You wanna make sure it comes to the edge and then you punch it. Then you can slide it right or left and what you wanna do is line those trees up, but you need to make sure this piece on this side stays at the bottom, because this one actually cuts out the bottom also. And then we're gonna do it again. Okay. Ooh, let's go one more. And it can be as long as you need it to be. Uh oh, and then you get this big long row of trees. And I actually think it's pretty easy to do a whole bunch and then you just trim them apart. So I could do that same, oh, that does look kinda nice, but I kinda like it. Ooh, we're gonna double layer it. Let's find the same trees. These are the same. We are gonna double layer this, but we gotta stamp something on that first. I'm thinking they should go here. So actually, if we had a small stamp, where's that? Will that ho 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 fit? It will, and we're gonna stamp that in Evening Evergreen. This ho 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 is from, it carried over in the annual, the, I think it's perfectly plaid. Yes, the one with the little teeny, oh, that little Christmas tree punch would also be cute for tag making. Ho, ho, ho. Ta-da! Oh, I kind of had it over just a little bit more, but it's pretty good. All right, let's put that away, and we're gonna put this one together, and we're gonna tuck it into our little container. Oh, but something needs to go on. Oh, let's stamp a tree on here. All right, so coordinated with the punch is this Evergreen Elegance uh, stamp set. I don't think any of this is the same size. So see, this is, it's a coordinating punch. It's not a punch that punches that out. But I think I should use that little tree because my tag is little. And I'm gonna show you my favorite um, thing to do. I love evergreen trees. I buy every stamp set that has evergreen trees. Um, I often save them, like I don't sell them in my BOGO because I'm like, well, I might need that tree. I mean, some of them I will, but in general, I'm always, I just, I don't know. I love the trees. <laughs> now I sound like the, the Lorax. I love the trees. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is stamp it full, stamp it less, stamp it less. Okay, and then, you know, I'm gonna keep going. Mm, I'm gonna stamp that one off now, because it's too much. And then you get kind of that like mountain look with lots of trees. I like that. Although now that I said I didn't want full, I totally want just like, I did. I wanted a little bit full there. So this is a very nice evergreen tree set. And it you can get it in a bundle with the punch. Okay, now, so what we're gonna do is, this is getting attached down. It's not gonna be swinging because the, I'm gonna put the tree punch over it. I'm getting all fancy. Now I would not make all of the, yeah, this is right. I would not make all the tags like this. I would do them like those easy peasy ones I did. This one is a little bit fancier. Okay, and I want a red circle. 
So if you made them all like this, it would take you forever. So you don't want to do that. You would, um, although if you laid out a bunch of these, you could um, just stamp them all together and then that would go faster. Am I gooped up? I think I am. Yep. This is always gross. <laughs> Reminds me of like your babies when they have like boogers in their nose and you have to take them out. My niece had a baby today out in Utah, a little boy. Um, he's kind of big. I think he's like nine pounds. But my niece and her husband are both, um, okay, come on, glue. Really? I'm telling you, this video is, you guys are paying extra for this video, <laughs> for this free video. Okay, my glue is jammed up. You know what? I could do this. Where's a silicone sheet? When your glue is jammed, just use your, your stamp and seal. There we go. Now we're in business. But see, it needed to be there. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna let it free hang this piece, but these little trees, I am gonna offset them the tiniest bit, okay? Give me this back. All right. I'm gonna have to make him a little name frame. I've been having fun with those, although, her daughter is like two. I know I made her one for her, but I'm pretty sure my other niece and nephew have not gotten one yet because I got busy, but oh, this is gonna be so cute. All right, let's lay it on here. Yeah, so this needs to go all, no, it's gonna go right there. And we'll trim off what's extra. Okay, you could do glue dots. I think I'm gonna do glue dots. Let's put glue dots on here. So this one, I'm going a little overboard. I'm like, this is the fancy tag. This is the one you give to the friend that you know is going to appreciate the heck out of this tag. Nothing's worse than you make a really cute tag and wrap your present really nice, and then they just, like, take it off and just toss it all in the trash. And I'm like, oh, really? You're not going to save it? At least for a little bit? These would also make very cute... Um, ornaments you know little hang tags or if you're doing some kind of get together party you know what no I like it up here like it's just part of the forest um you know you could have fun with this all right and then we're going to flip it over trim it even oh that is adorable that is so cute and then we need some ribbon I'm going to do this evergreen I've been doing six inches Okay, let's fix that. When your scissors are sticky with glue, <laughs> they don't cut as well. There we go. So I've been doing six inches. And you can put it from the front or the back. This is, you wanna have a point on your uh, ribbon so it doesn't get too thrashed. Uh, if you use twine, that is also easier. Sometimes I'm gonna get this in here. It kills me because it's gonna look so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you the circles are smaller than, okay, than the, um, the oval cut. Is that both pieces? Yeah, that's both pieces. There we go, now we're in business. And then we're gonna pull that through. Look at that, how cute is that? That is a cute tag, my friends. That is a cute tag. Could you not imagine giving someone this? Like, you'd have to give it to them at Thanksgiving or something. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, the ribbon's missing. <laughs> but imagine I tied it in a bow. And there you go. So I call this, what I said, tag folder, hol tag holder folder. I made that name up. I don't know what she was calling it. She called it a tag wallet. Okay, but I like tag, tag folder holder. <laughs> so there you go, my friends. I hope that, even though it was a little scattered, I hope that you enjoyed this project. I will add the measurements um, tonight or tomorrow to this post, and I will post a picture tomorrow of this finished project so um, you can see it. 
All right, I think that's good. My goodness, happy Friday. Thank you for hanging out. It was super fun to have you all here. Give me a like, give me a love, tell your friends. If you wanna buy any of these pro these products, audramonk.stampitup.net, nice and easy peasy. Um, and you can always send me an email at audramonk at yahoo.com or go on your Google and search The Crafty Yogi and you will find me. I don't know if there's any others. I'm now gonna have to Google that. There are other Audra Monks, which you wouldn't think that there would be, um, besides the singer. I knew about her, but um, no, that's, is her name Audra Monk? No, it's not. It's Audra McDonald. Um, so anyway, have a great evening. Have a great Memorial Day. We are going to craft, though, Monday night, 8.30. Monday night, 8.30. I have a plan. I haven't made the plan. I mean, I have the mental plan. I need to do the physical plan. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I will see you next time. Stay crafty, my friends. Be safe. Be well.